have chosen to use a submersible sump pump. It's a half horsepower you can purchase online or at hardware stores. Um, the water is sucked up through the bottom base of this and we fill the tub approximately a third of the way full of water. And as we do that, we want it to be on the tepid side. And when we do this, we want to add our shampoo. Be generous with the shampoo. This is hooked up to a 10-foot hose. There are more expensive pieces out here. Uh, that you can use this commercially. Uh, the sump pump that you can buy commercially is almost three times the amount that you would pay for this. This is about a $60 piece retail uh, and a 10 foot hose that costs $10. So under, under uh, $80 you could get the same setup that would cost around $400. Uh, the only difference is it actually has a step on the bottom for your foot to uh, turn it on and off and also the hose is a flexible hose with a, um, a sprayer on the back of it. This works just as well. So that puts now, out, oh, I'm sorry, with, with that sump pump that's putting out at least as much force as I have at home with the garden hose outside in the summer. Exactly. And the force is what you do. This is an easy way to not have to scrub your dog and it gets right down to their skin, cleans them easily. And when you clean their skin, you, I'm noticing she's dirty in her hocks. She's quite dirty. And what you do is turn those feet around and clean them, clean those paws. And what happens with the dog, and how do you know that you're getting the dog clean, is, is that with the, the fur is turning cleaner already. But when you get up into this area here, some lamps don't wet easily. That's part of their, uh, the nature of the, of the, the, the dog keeping. That outer coat of theirs is amazingly water repellent. Right, without the benefit of water. So what you do is what we're seeing here is, is that as we clean that and wet that coat, there's shampoo inside of there and it's actually cleaning the dog. So you see how it's actually not se it's separating, but as it as it actually gets cleaner, the hair runs smooth. And that's where you know that you're actually getting right down to that skin and cleaning the coat efficiently. Now that we've finished the, the body with the sump pump and the shampoo, we're going to move on to the head and the face. I'm going to drain the tub and we're going to put cotton balls into the ear and get her face wet and use some baby shampoo and do that so it doesn't hurt their eyes. One of the essentials to cleaning the face that I find is uh, using an actual remove or uh, a shower head. And I ask her to close her eyes, close her eyes, and get up underneath the face and the ears. We're using normal Super Jumbo cotton balls to actually put into the ears of the dog. You go ahead and put that straight down into their ear and what that does is block some of that water to go into the ear. We need to clean around the ears because Samoyeds tend to get kind of a waxy uh, ear buildup around their ears. So the head is wet, cotton balls are in the ears. Little baby shampoo on the head, underneath the chin, and along the face. Right inside the ears, it's important to get some of that shampoo along the inside of the ear cotton ball keeps that from going inside. Close your 
with rice. Keep it close. Good girl. Okay, get the head really rinse clean. It's very important to be able to rinse a dog very well. The next step is to get some of this excess suds and soap and water. This is another reason why the handheld shower is really good. And what we're going to need to do is clean this all out and this will be for our second rinse. The second rinse will be another third tub full of water, tepid water, uh, along with some conditioner. Sometimes you have to turn it to its side. That should be enough water in there. We put our conditioner in. Now we're on our final rinse. Now on the subject of conditioner though, um, some people particularly who have done a lot of showing will question why you're using conditioner at all. I wouldn't be using a conditioner on a dog that I was going to show. Uh, and the reason for that is because it actually uh, lays the hair down a little bit flatter. And you want that hair to actually stand up uh, when you're showing a dog. So she's retired show champion. And when you have a dog that has longer hair, um, or one that you're just uh, wanting to um, have a, a smoother, softer coat, then you can go ahead and use conditioner. Yeah, I use a brand called Spa, which is a line of aromatherapy shampoos and conditioners, and I use uh, a ginger um, scented conditioner with Gidget. And frankly, just because I like to smell it. If you notice, see how that conditioner actually lies that hair down. That hair is so smooth right now. And you can tell that you've rinsed it well when it is laying down. Remember, we've already done the head, so it's not necessary to actually drown the dog with water at their head. so easy and so easy on your back you don't have to actually physically touch the skin of the dog to knowing that it's getting clean the water is doing all the work for you this is also a really efficient use of water because you're recycling uh, in both sessions the shampooing part and in the rinsing part instead of just having all that water run down the drain the whole time yes and sometimes a dog that's extremely dirty or smelly uh, needs to be washed twice so you would just repeat that uh, uh, shampoo cycle twice and then your rinse but the most important thing is actually rinsing that dog and getting it clean and the shampoo off its skin Right now we're going to clean the ears and they say that you actually saturate the ears with the ear cleaner. Massage the bottom of the ear to release some of that wax. And our ears were a little bit dirty. But of course they don't like that. And then say allow to you just shake the dog. Shake, shake. Now we're just giving her a little drying on her muzzle and her face because this is the areas that I'm not going to actually dry her real heavily. Um, just get the ears, get those clean and dried a little bit. I usually do. The feet and let the blow dryer do the rest.